Hey guys, it's Omi. Welcome back, Pokemon XD, uh, XG. It's been a while, I don't remember what happened. Oh yeah, okay. So we just finished fighting Labrina, and we saved the Professor from this place. Uh, the Seeper base. And we lost both of our Shadow Pokemon that we were training. Oh, that just takes us back to the HQ. Okay, well, it's cutscene time. Well, it's not really a cutscene, but it's talking time. What? I think... Uh, we, we did catch the Clefairy, so we're probably going to put that on our team. I don't think we have a Fairy type right now. So, that'd be nice. Uh, it really sucks that Beedrill and Metatite died. They both had really good abilities. And uh, it would have been really nice to have those two, but they both had to just die. Because that stupid Mawile had Fire Punch. Why did it have Fire Punch? Like, I should have expected to play rough, of course, but, like, why Fire Punch? Why not Fire Fang? That would have made so much more sense. Oh, okay, so he's he's showing us how to use the Purify Chamber. I think it's done. Well, that's nice, because now we can actually start purifying some of the Pokémon that we uh, got. So he's going to explain it to us, but I'm going to ignore him, because I'm going to explain it to you as I do it. Plus, his explanation isn't very helpful. I mean, it is, but, like, you pretty much have to learn it yourself to, to get it. So, the way it works is, like, you need... To purify Pokemon, you have to have Pokemon that are super effective against each other. And you put them in a circle, and you put the Pokemon you want to purify in the middle. So for this, the only non-Shadow Pokemon are the ones that you can use, like, even in the dead box here. And the ones that are Shadow Pokemon are ones that need to be purified, obviously. I was holding a Pixie Plate. Actually, I, could, I should check them out while I have them while I'm here. It's Pure Heart. We can evil moves. Oh, okay, I know what ability this is. This is a new ability. There's, like, two new abilities in this game, I think. And so, any moves against it that are Shadow, Dark, or Ghost will be will do half damage, which is really strong. This has Prankster. Magnapulse, yeah. Magnapulse not great. I don't think they're going to be switching out much. Okay, well, let's see what they have. I'm pretty sure this... Shadow Fear... Oh, that's Paralyzed. And it had Shadow... It, oh, it did have an attack. This Clefairy could have killed me, but it never used it. That's helpful. Oh, and that's why Shadow Bully wasn't super effective. The damage is equal to its level. Okay. Well, the first one we're going to purify, I think, is not going to be Clefairy, because Clefairy is going to go on our team. Oh, Beedrill's ready to be purified. I guess I could purify that. I think I can just put it in the purify chamber like this to purify it. Yeah. Okay, you have to put a regular Pokemon on to purify it, for whatever reason. There we go. Uh, now what? How do I purify it? Do I just leave? Oh, okay. There we go. Man, look at Belda blocking the view. Okay. The Beedrill is purified now. We'll edit the team in a sec, but like, I'm gonna mess with the purified chamber. We should be able to put two things on the purified. Did it learn air cutter? Or was that X scissor? Something like that. It doesn't matter, Beedrill's dead. But the only reason I'm purifying it is because, uh, I need to use it for the purified chamber. And I will name it something, just like I named, uh, just like I named Taylor. I'll just name it Spear. Because that's, uh, I think it's a cool name for Beedrill. Plus, it's it's actually Beedrill's Japanese name, which is hilarious because this is just Spear. Okay, shut up. Let me go back to the Purify Chamber. There we go. Okay, so. Now that we have Beedrill, we can use that over here, uh, that way. I think that worked. Yeah, cause Psychic beats Poison, so like, the, the lines are both lighted up because Psychic beats Poison and Bug beats Psychic. So, that's that's how it works. 
uh, you just put them in a, in a circle, and when they're compatible, it works well. Now these circles probably won't be changed by me. Uh, there we go. So, oh crap, I shouldn't have left. Let's add one more. From over here. I think fighting would be best here. Fighting should uh, work with them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're in a perfect circle and the tempo is all the way at the top. That means it'll purify Pokemon really fast. So, what do we want to purify? Well, we're gonna get working on everything in the list, so... What don't I have? I have an electric type. I have a dark, and I have a grass dragon. Oh, it's not grass dragon? Maybe only Sceptile is grass dragon. I'm 100% sure it's, it's grass dragon. And the, Mr. Biz is not ghost fairy, like I said. I think they reverted that in one of the modes, because it used to be, I'm sure. Anyways, we'll just... We'll just do... I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'll do Shroomish and Mischievous. Well, Mischievous first. I think Mischievous is only, the only type we don't have. Okay, perfect. Why is the flow not maximum? I feel like the flow should be maximum here. Oops. I'll do Mischievous. Okay, there we go. Uh, Rotate? I don't know. Meldum's the only thing it's good against. Okay, well, I'll just do that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not the expert in this. Okay, so... Let's put Halo. I have to remember that some of my Pokemon will be in the Purify Chamber. So... And I have to remember which ones are dead, too. Now, neither of these two beat each other, but I'm not too worried about that. That'll be fixed once we get more Pokemon purified. I don't really want to micromanage this. So Beldum and Puchan are not good, but everything else in here is. So let's just purify Magnemite. Yeah, actually, I'll do Shroomish. No, I will do Magnemite. Keep opening my card. There we go. Okay. Now we have things getting purified. And that's nice. Now what we're gonna do is edit our team. Because our team just died. So. Oh crap, I should've put Mischievous on the team, actually. We're about to get a ton of new Shadow Pokemon, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oops. Oops. I should've put, uh... Actually, let me... Maybe I should put Meditite to get purified so I can just use it as purify fodder. There's nothing here I want to put on my team. I think I will do that. Let's put... Actually, can I access the full purify chamber here? Oh, neat, I can. Okay. So... Yeah, let's get rid of Mischievous and put Mischievous on our team. We're probably not even going to use it. We're just going to keep it with us for now. And then we're going to take Meditite and put Meditite in the Purify Chamber. Like I said, we can't use it, but like, you know, getting it purified works because we need it to use the Purify Chamber. Okay, that should be fine. Go upstairs and ask Dex, okay. Okay, yeah. So I think, I don't remember what we do after this in this game. I, I just don't remember. I think we go to Pyrite Town. Pyrite Town definitely has a lot of stuff to be fighting. And uh, it's actually a pretty scary place if I remember. Where's Dex? Who is Dex? Is it this guy? I think it's this guy. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, in rage mode, um, well, I don't know if they... Will take damage in the rage mode. Yeah, okay, it, it doesn't say that in this. But in the rage mode for Pokemon XG, they, uh, they changed it so... Um, 
so that you can, uh, so that Pokemon in Rage Mode do double damage with their attacks. Well, not double, I don't know if it's double, but their power, their attacks are powered up. Is that neat? I didn't actually know that, I was reading the website. Alright, cool, he's just gone. That's cool. Maybe someone will tell me where he went. He went downstairs. <clears throat> I hate having to chase people around in this game. It's like, oh, he's downstairs. Oh, never mind. Go the other way. He's not there. But it's not that big a deal, I guess. He left lab. I still can't battle this guy. I said I could, but like, that never happened, I guess. I could have sworn. Well, uh, I think he's at Kaminko's house. This is probably a waste of time. If it is, I'm gonna speed up right here. But if it's not, then I'm not going to speed up, so you'll know. Spoilers. Okay, so. Ugh. I really hope he's here. I hate having to walk around in this game. There's no run button. Oh, can I not find that? Oh, I see. Okay, maybe this is the right place to be. Maybe. Okay, never mind. We can't go downstairs either. Okay, this was a waste of time. Speeding up. Oh, and we're back. Apparently he's just right here. <laughs> of course. Seriously, talented guy. Okay, you can't do the thing. So I think we have to find the hacker that lives in Pirate Town. Pirate Town. I'm pretty sure Pirate Town's a, a battle, like all the people in the streets battle you, so that kind of worries me. But they also might have Shadow Pokemon, so that'd be nice to catch something. I don't think we have to have Clefairy out in the front right now. I'm just gonna train up those two, they're the lowest levels. I love the music here, and that's the battle dome in the background. That was the Colosseum, I think. Yeah, that's the battle square. All of those guys will battle you. I think they battle you infinitely, so I think you can use them for grinding. Oh, yes, yes, yes. In in the um on the website for this game. It said there were trainers in Pyrite Town who, each of them had a different type. Each of them had different Pokemon that gave different EVs. So if I wanted, I, if I train here, I can use them as EV training also. I'm not sure if it's this guy. I think it's only the people in the battle square, but you know, we'll see. I mean, I might not pay attention. I don't know exactly what EVs every Pokemon gives. I could look it up. Uh, I think I'll lead with Reflect. I'm kinda scared of a flying type move from Murkrow, but I'm also not that scared from with Murkrow. I'll just Sludge Bomb the Nuzleaf. Maybe I'm making a mistake again by just letting this happen, but I'm sure I'll be fine. What is Murkrow really gonna do? Use Wing Attack? Poison. Perfect. Easy game. Oh, it has Air Slash. That's not Wing Attack. Okay, use it on uh, Umbreon. It, it's stupid, never mind. Flinch. Wait, can Sea Bomb make you flinch? Oh, wait, no, Air Slash can. Never mind. 
Sneasel. All right, yeah. Let's get let's get Angus out of here. Let's go for the reflect again because he decided not to put it up. And then we'll send out what's going to use air slash and an ice type. Oh well, let's just send out Wendy. Wendy's tanky. Not a nice type move. Don't go for the double attack. But air slash shouldn't kill. Oh, get out of oh wow, that crit. Don't flinch again. Thank you. That won't help against air slash, but it'll stop Sneasel. I think I'm gonna heal with uh, Umbreon. Might as well just get that health back up to be safe. And then I'll go for Ice Punch. On Murkrow. Uh, it's almost unfortunate that this isn't normal Pokemon XD because in that Sneasel is a useless Pokemon, since both Ice and Dark are special, and, sp and Sneasel has really high attack and not special attack. Frozen again. Is that my second freeze? Oh, we're gonna go for a super potion this time because clearly I didn't heal enough. And we'll ice punch it again. Hopefully it stays frozen. You know the reflect is up. That that's faint attack is doing a lot of damage. Let's hope the flinch doesn't happen here. Okay, perfect. His last Pokemon, maybe it's Shadow. Maybe these po people want to have Shadow Pokemon. But I have to check. I can't not check. Hound Hour, that'd be nice to have. Okay. I don't think it's Shadow. I think it would have said it was Shadow before that, yeah. We're gonna Super Potion again, because these guys are doing a lot of damage. And I'm gonna Aqua Jet the Hound Hour. Or maybe I should go for Mudshot. Yeah, I'll just use Aqua Jet. Okay, I thought that would take it out. Willowis, please don't hit Marsh Tom. Oh, of course. Well, it looks like we're healing again. I love having to heal every single turn. It's just like the pinnacle of good gameplay. I need to buy burn heals. I need to buy everything. I think I bought some full heals. Maybe I did. Let me check. I have one. Never mind. Let's just go for Aqua Jet again. Good thing it can't miss. Okay, perfect. Now, if things... I don't know exactly how fast things will get purified in the purified chamber, but at least in the chamber that I fully set up, it should be getting done pretty fast. Okay, the reflect's gone, that's scary. I think we're gonna switch out, maybe... Let me see. Hmm. I can switch into... Uh, Clefairy. Because Clefairy has Pure Heart, which makes it resist Dark-type moves, on top of the fact that it's a Fairy-type, which also already resists Dark-type moves. Let's see how much damage this does. I think I already have the Moonstone, too. We need to get uh, Clefairy purified as fast as possible. It can learn, like, a lot of good TMs, and once I have it purified, I can actually teach it those TMs. Oh, you know where I need to go, actually? Let me, at, right after I beat this trainer, I'm gonna head straight to... Try to spear to the attack. I'm gonna head straight to the move tool. Oh, wow. What did it just use? Was that Brick Break? I don't know what it was, but it didn't kill me, so I'm happy.
Yeah, just if this if just this trainer is messing me up this badly, we're probably gonna have an issue. I might grind a little bit so that at least everyone on the team is level 26, maybe. But I won't I won't do that with if I'm just grinding, I'll speed up. I don't know where the uh, Pokemon Center is, so I'm just gonna leave. If I go to a gate village, uh, then I can hit up the move tutor, see what he can give me. I think the only thing that's new that I can move tutor are Pikachu and Pikachu and Grovile. Oh hey, I did say that was gonna happen fast, so Meditite's already done. So I think I I'm not sure if we can access the Purify Chamber at any PC. If so, that's super convenient. I don't remember if we can or can't, but I think we'll check now. And then I can put Meditite in the third, or in the second, Purify Chamber slot. And start getting it, or start getting the second thing purified quickly. Purify Chamber. Neat. Oh no, you have to go back. If you want to purify it, you have to go back to the other place. Okay, well, I guess I'll go that back there. After I go to the move tutor. I should also head to the move tutor in Mount Battle too. I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly what they were. I think it was just a move relearner, but maybe like stuff like Umbreon can relearn stuff. We might as well check. Draco Meteor. I wonder if, I wonder if. It is able, but I'm not gonna teach it Draco Meteor. Maybe. Hold on, I don't need Dragon Breath. What am I gonna use Dragon Breath for, really? I think Draco Meteor would be pretty strong. Cause like, what resists grass? A lot of things resist grass, but like, I don't think there's anything that will resist all three of these moves to where I'll use Dragon Breath instead. So if I give it Drag Draco Meteor, I can just use it to one-shot scary things. Oh, no, not Draco Meteor, please. Let's check Fire Punch. I mean, you know, I don't think any we have anything that can be Fire Punch, but it's good to check. Maybe Pikachu could learn it. I know it can learn Thunder Punch because it already has Thunder Punch. Wait, what is this? Ice Punch. Oh, you already have Ice Punch. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm checking all this stuff that I already know. Pikachu can't learn. Maybe it can learn Snarl. Maybe. Maybe Grovile can learn Snarl. It can. But I don't want to get rid of anything on Grovile. Okay, we're out of here. We're gonna head to Mount Battle. And then we'll go back to Pyrite Town. Oh, actually, no. We're gonna go to Mount Battle. No, we'll, we'll go to the uh, Purify Chamber first, because we might as well start purifying things. So that, you know, while we're walking to Mount Battle, we'll get some purification progress. Kind of annoying that you have to come back here to purify stuff, but it, I guess it's not too bad. What do you do? Okay, nothing. I think we have to actually do this purify chamber to purify it. I love how the Pokemon in the circle just ignore it completely and move to their side. Drain Punch. That would have been nice in that battle. Well, not actually, because all the Pokemon there were fairies. So. 
Let's name it Onion. Its head looks like an onion. And I also can't really... I shouldn't be spending too long on the names of the Pokemon that are already dead. Okay, now we go back into the Purify Chamber, and we'll put something that I can actually use to be purified into the Purify Chamber. Now, I think I'll do... Let's do Shroomish. Uh, let's rotate you. Ah, uh, never mind. Rotating you won't help. I, I don't care that much about it being great. So, you know, it's whatever. Then we'll put Metatite in here, too. I might spend some time and reorganize the Purify Chamber so it's, like, perfect. Oh, hold on. No, it doesn't matter. No, uh, there's no way I could change that so that it's any better than this. Okay. That should be good. Alright, now we head to Mount Battle and check what the movie learner can give us. What am I doing? For some reason, I didn't think there was a wall there. Now we can actually challenge Mount Battle. Uh, it, you know, I said I would grind at the EV training spots, but maybe I'll grind at Mount Battle. Oh, let's move the leader. I don't need you. Because Mount Battle, if I get progress, prog progress, progress at Mount Battle, I get points for a ton of good stuff. So I should probably do that. Yeah, it says they're a thousand points. They're actually not. They're like five points in this pack. Maybe I should teach it Curse. I don't know if I already had Curse. Did I get rid of Curse? I don't think I would have gotten rid of Curse. Dragon Dance and Swords Dance. Too bad I'm not physical. Wait, Giga Drain? Don't I already have Giga Drain? I do. I can't do Shadow Pokemon, I think. Yeah. Let's check you. Oh, oops. Rock Tomb would be nice. Rock Tomb. Maybe. I don't think I can, since I don't have enough two points. Uh, but yeah, I'll grind him out battle so I can get some of these coupons. Well, maybe I'll just do a mix mixture of both. There's no reason I don't have to do both. Or either or. Power. Okay, no, it already has all this stuff. Once they evolve, they'll get some cool moves that they can get for egg moves. So I can get some of those. Not egg moves, uh, level 1 moves. I don't know what to call those. Pre-moves. What are those called? Anyways, I guess it doesn't matter. Now we can go back to Pyrite Town! And I'll explore that fortune teller's house. Or something. Can we battle him again? Yeah, we can battle these guys infinite times. So if, if we want training, I, I don't, I'm not sure if the Pokemon he had were EV specific, but I, I guess we can check. I'll talk to you. Okay, yeah. So like, there's some Poke spots. I, I already explained that I'm going to catch one each one Pokemon at each Poke spot. You. <clears throat> TMO7. Oh boy. Foul play. Oh, foul play. I'm going to teach that to Umbreon right now. Because foul play is a good move. But I also don't know what I'm going to get rid of. I don't know if I really want Hyper Voice anymore. I think I do want to keep Snarl. Snarl is pretty good, and I want to keep Reflect and Thunder Wave, so I'm going to get rid of Hyper Voice. 
it's it's not that big of a deal. It's just a normal type move, and I don't really care about it. Not like it does big damage anyways. Foul play is actually going to be doing big damage. Flash cannon. I've already gone through this stuff. I don't know why I'm going through it again. Maybe something else can win foul play. That's enough. Why are there two doors? Okay, whatever. So yeah, uh, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. We're gonna explore the Pirate Town next time. We didn't get too much done here, but it's fine. It's not too big a deal. So, thank you for watching.